A knowledge of statistical analytical techniques can help an organisation in their understanding of employee engagement in many ways. Many organisations spend many thousands of pounds trying to get measures of employee engagement, to get an idea of uh, how engaged employees are within the workforce. And these organisations often spend many thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of pounds, paying for the service of external survey providers to come into their organisation and measure the levels of employee engagement uh, at their workplace. What organisations actually do with this data, however, varies considerably. Some organisations just use uh, this information about levels of engagement in their workplace um, to get a benchmark against other organisations to get an idea of how engaged their workforce is compared to other organisations. Some organisations like to compare different groups or teams within their organisation uh, in terms of how engaged or disengaged might different teams be. So they make a relative comparison across uh, different parts of their organisation. Other organisations get an engagement score, for example, for particular teams um, and use this as some kind of performance metric uh, to get an idea of how well the team leader is at potentially fostering employee engagement in their team members. These survey providers that measure employee engagement, many of them have very different ways of measuring employee engagement. Within the field of employee engagement, there's considerable debate about what is engagement and how you should measure employee engagement. And there's lots of variation in both how companies or say uh, academics define engagement and determine how you should measure it. What uh, statistical analytic techniques can enable an expert uh, HR analyst to do is to potentially interrogate whatever measure is used in the uh, assessment of engagement levels within our organisation um, and answer some key questions like, is this measure a valid measure? By valid measure, uh, one tends to mean, uh, is it measuring what's intended to be measured? Is this survey measure of engagement, for example, actually tapping levels of engagement in the workforce's head or in employees' heads, if you like? So, uh, statistical analytic techniques can help uh, an HR analyst um, try to determine how valid these measures that are being used are. Now, these measures, uh, sorry, these surveys may have either, um, uh, may either provide data at an individual level to the organisation, so each employee has an engagement score, or at a team level. So you get an indication of team level engagement. External survey providers often provide engagement data at the team level. Now an HR analyst, uh, whether they have data at the team or individual level, can use factor analysis, for example, to, in, to try and check and ensure that the construct that's being measured, engagement, does seem to be behaving in a way that one would expect if you had a valid measure. For example, do our measures of engagement separate from other constructs that you may have measured in a survey? For example, job satisfaction. Okay? So with statistical analytical techniques such as factor analysis, you can interrogate the, the data to ensure that the survey is potentially being or is a valid survey and is measuring the, the, the constructs that you hope to measure. Also, reliability analysis is uh, an analytic technique that a, uh, um, a competent and expert HR analytic um, an analyst um, can also use to interrogate further whether or not the measures are, consist are behaving consistently 
um, in measuring engagement either within individuals or across individuals within the organisation.